The Scarlet Spellbinders in Western Plaguelands are some of the most requested mobs in this entire series, and for very good reason. They drop the recipe for the Crusader enchant, which every single warrior wants. Every warrior knows that the Crusader enchant is the best enchantment on your weapon, hands down. With rogues, it's a little different because the agility can scale better sometimes with like kings or ZG or yada. But for warriors, it's simple. We want Crusader. 100 strength and a little heal is perfect. The only place in the world, however, where they drop is here in the Western Plaguelands on this little road. You'll find a couple of the, the Scarlet Spellbinders traveling up and down, but most of them you will find in this tower. I've farmed this once or twice on private servers, and I never really like went hard at it, so I didn't get the recipe. But today, we are going to kill 500 of the Scarlet NPCs and try to get the recipe for the Crusader enchant. So my plan is, because I can't really just kill the Spellbinders, right? I'm kind of forced to kill a couple of these Avengers. I'm going to focus mostly on the Spellbinders, so I will end up having to kill a couple of the Avengers, but I'm going to do my absolute best to get the Crusader enchant by really focusing on killing as many of the Spellbinders as I can. Because the Spellbinders, you know, are the only ones that can drop the recipe. The other mobs, like the Avengers and stuff, do have a good loot table, but nothing nothing comparable, comparable to Crusader. The recipe on my server is selling for, like... It's literally like, I think the cheapest I've seen it go is 400 gold right now. So it's uh, it's a good one, man. I'd be really happy if we can get it today. I'm, I'm going to do my best. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. So Cavalier Durgan, he's like the little boss over here. His loot is pretty nice, but very low drop chance. According to Wowhead, he can drop the Enchant Bracer Superior Stamina at a 0.02% drop chance. It's actually insane. That's about the same as the Rivendare Death Charger, I believe. And he also uh, can drop the Formula Enchant Boots Greater Agility at a 0.04%. He is okay. He's good to kill. He's got he's got some good stuff as well. But at the top here, we really get like the icing of the cake. There's gonna be a bunch of Spellbinders to kill. And uh, well, this is where I'm gonna try to spend a lot of my time today. And this is the proc right here. This absorbs 500 frost damage. That is from my breastplate, which is super handy. This is a very fun place to fight, I'm not gonna lie. I like this interior building a lot. It reminds me of something out of like Harry Potter. So this is gonna be home for today. I'm excited. Get out of the rain, spend some time in this tower. I'm gonna go up and down the road a lot. So like I said, if you if you haven't done this farm before, the trick is to just go up and down this road and just try to target as many spellbinders as you can. And then obviously, you know, come in and out of this tower every time you see the spawns are up. That's my plan at least. So what we can actually do here, if we want to be really efficient, is we can make a macro to target the spellbinder. We can just do t slash tar. Oh, I have to I have to make it scarlet spellbinder. I think. Do I not know how to spell? A spell spinder, huh? There we go. So now if I just press C, I don't really have to go with my mouse over it right like this. I can just press the button. Boom. Now I see the spellbinder. So I'm going to go up and down the road and do that. And then play around the tower. It's nice. We got a couple respawns. Got a chest in here. This is going to be great. If I keep the respawn staggered too, I shouldn't have any, any worry about like getting overrun by mobs. Whoa! What? That's so awesome! An Aegis of Stormwind! I've never... I've never gotten a blue out of a chest. That is so... That's so tight! That's awesome. That's one of the coolest looking shields in the game, too, if you ask me. What an... Oh, 
That's a good sign, bro. That's a good sign right there. All right, guys. So here we are at 99 kills. And so far, no formula, but lots of goodies. I did bring some health potions over from a friend, but no formula yet. But I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I can already tell this one is brutal. There's one other warlock here who's co who's competing with me for mobs and I mean he's he's kind of cool. He gave me soul, soul stone and whatever, but it is really really taking a while just with one other person. So if there's more than one, this farm would probably be basically impossible. I mean, with one it's hard. So that's pretty much the name of the game with this farm is if you can get it to yourself, I bet it's awesome. But otherwise, yeah, it's rough. So, I'll talk to you guys when we're at 500 kills. I don't even know why I try anymore. I don't even know Got it, boys! 20 minutes later. Alright guys, so here we are at 497 total kills. We got 400 of the Spellbinders, 77 of the Avengers, and 20 of Cavalier Durgan. I was just, just going to do the Spellbinders, but I think for the sake of the video and the authenticity, it's better for me to just keep it as realistic as possible. And I did the best I could to avoid as many Avengers and Cavalier Durgans as I can. And I'll be honest, that's where like at least an hour went was just avoiding those guys. So if you're not avoiding those mobs, I bet you can kill these guys even faster. But I'll go ahead and show you guys my strategy real quick before we wrap this up. I would sit here on one of the ends and I would spam my macro. Just in case I didn't show it earlier. Spam this slash tar scarlet spellbinder. I just spam, 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 spam. And that lets me know when one respawns and I would check at the bottom. There's one. Okay. I go ahead and jump. And I would kill it. And that basically just lets me know if any spawn below and on the roof. So that's my strategy to do it. I'm actually loving this spot. I'm thinking about parking a 60 here. And just like logging in whenever I'm bored, you know? Just logging in, wiping the tower, logging out. I think I'm going to do that with my druid, honestly, when she gets 60. But it, anyway, so I'll come back here. C, 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 C. Oh, or macro, macro, macro. Oh, another one spawned. Mine's bound to C, so I press it. C, 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 C. And I know that there's one up here because I didn't see it at the bottom. So for our last two kills, we'll go ahead and get one Colonel Durgan. And the Spellbinder. Death Wish, as usual. Recklessness. For our 500th kill, we get three Rune Cloth and six Silver. So, guys, this spot, my final thoughts would be if it's this is the epitome of if you get it to yourself, you're chilling. But if one other person is here, it's very difficult. So, I would be very mindful of that. Come here, maybe check it out if someone else is here. Maybe dip, go try something else, but um, another little trick I learned here, I don't know how big this will be for you guys, but if you don't want to kill the Avengers at the front, you can just get on your mount and you can just jump right in like this. So that's going to do it for this. I'll meet you at Stormwind and we can go over the, lo the loot. All right, guys. So here we are in Stormwind and we got the goods. Let's just get right into it, bro. We did get the formula for the Enchant Weapon Crusader. That's what we were after. That's the money, man. But not only did we get one. We got two, <laughs> which is awesome. And I think they actually dropped off like the similar mob, you know, like where they spawn. So that was insane. So we got two of the we Enchant Weapons Crusaders, Pattern Rune Clock Pants, Pattern Bright Clock Cloth. These kind of suck, but whatever. One Star Ruby, one uh, 332 pieces of Rune Cloth. Now you guys know I love Rune Cloth. It just sells immediately. But the only thing I actually love more than Rune Cloth 
are potions because they sell faster. So we got seven major healing pots, six major mana potions, a journeyman's backpack, a burnside rifle of the tiger. This is nice. Agility and strength on a level 50 gun. This is actually pretty sick for uh, warriors. They'll like that. Uh, some crappy nightshade cloak. Mystical bracers of healing. I like these. I think this will sell again for like 10 gold probably. Good for flasks. Traveler's gloves. Lord's breastplate of the falcon. Agility and intellect. Hunters are going to love that. And then the big news, boys, is the Aegis of Stormwind. However, I got this out of a chest. So take that with a grain of salt. I don't know if you, you know, you want to count that or whatever in your in your head but this was from a chest but we did get the Aegis of Stormwind and I think personally it's one of the coolest shields in the whole game so we got this on top of all these awesome yeah, vendor rolls which are just going to go straight into the innkeeper <laughs> and as you can see here from those 500 mobs we got up to 26 gold 12 silver you need a decent something. amount but I mean they're a level high level 50 so hopefully these grays will push us to a decent chunk yeah, all right, so as you can see, we get up to 43, 43 gold and 67 silver. That's not bad. For a solo farm for only 500 mobs from Venderables, 43 gold of raw gold is not terrible. I'll take that any day. All right, here we are at the auction house. So far with these videos, I've gotten super lucky about like getting what I am after. But in terms of that, we did get the Enchant Weapon Crusader, which is selling for 489 gold right now, bro. I'm going to do 479. But that is what I'm talking about, dude. I'm going to sell one now. I'll hang on to the other one and sell it when I need to. But, I mean, we got two of those. So we're looking at at least 800 gold just off those two items. That's that's absurd. That's so nice right there. Rune cloth pants. Bright cloth cloak. Four gold. Star ruby. Aegis of Stormwind. Wow, 20, 30 gold. But we'll do 25. Five gold for the greens. You guys know me. If the greens don't sell, then they go straight to the... Uh, the disenchanter unless you know i can resell them or they're worth more or whatever like this i think we can get 10 gold for pretty easily journeyman's backpack major mana potions a little cheap right now more major healing pots cheap right now as well i would hang on to these personally but for the sake of the video i'm gonna go ahead and throw them up and then for our 332 pieces of rune cloth at six silver a pop uh, I'm actually going to put this at 140 only because I know how Runecloth fluctuates. And I do believe that we can actually get uh, 140 for these pretty easily. Alright, so... Uh, dude, I'll be honest with you guys. My final thoughts. This did take me like 6 or 7 hours. But I was being very, very... Maybe a little more than 6 or 7 hours. Like, maybe Hello. 7. <laughs> but I was being very, like, disciplined with how, how many of non... Of the uh, spellbinders that I killed. So if you're just out there killing, 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 killing... I think this is probably one of the best farms in the whole game. At least if the if the Crusader enchant's selling for a lot, which on my server it is, you know, you're just constantly fighting mobs that can drop this thing. The key is getting it to yourself. And I know some of you guys play on like Sulfuros or Feralina, like it's going to be hard as hell to get that spot to yourself. So my recommendation is I'm actually gonna level or finish leveling my druid to 60 here in like a week. And I'm probably just gonna park her over there and end up like logging on and off and checking that spot. Just wiping it if no one's there, hang out for a bit if someone's there, and well, then I'll just log off and do something else. But like that spot, I'm not lying, is one of my new favorite spots in the entire game on, on Classic. So if you're looking for a gold farm, I would head over there, see if you can get it to yourself. If that's not available, my second recommendation is still the worms in Silithus. Get that meat, sell it to people so they can make their dumplings. But I'm rambling, guys. This video was a lot of fun to make. I loved the recommendations for this. If you guys have any recommendations for spots, please let me know. Keep them coming. I got some cool ones lined up. Um, got some really interesting ideas, and 99% of them come from you guys. So thank you guys for that. And honestly, thank you guys so much for all the likes, all the comments. I don't, I don't even know where to begin other than saying, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. So I'm going to keep pumping these videos out, and I just really want to thank you guys all for being here. So... That's going to do it for me, guys. I'll leave my Twitch up on screen now somewhere. But have a good one. Take it easy. My name is Barack H, and I will see you guys in the next one.